Howdy, y'all. It's your favorite trainer with a belt buckle. Happy 2021. We're going to give you our suggestion for the top 10 books to read this year. Now, if you're a new personal trainer, just getting into the industry, you got certified and you're eager to learn more. What books should you read? Should you get Relentless? Maybe you should get, I got two copies of that sucker. Should you get Squat Bible, The E-Myth, Starting Strength, Crooked? What to read? There's so many books. Let Show Up Fitness help you. We teach personal trainers. We've helped over a thousand pass and ask CPT. We have in-person internships, San Diego, West Hollywood, Santa Monica. You get that hands-on learning. We're gonna start doing weekly weekend seminars starting in March. We're excited to help more people become great. So start off with the list. No particular order. Number 10, Rise of a Fit Pro. That's gonna be Eric and Chris Martinez. Awesome dudes, they're twins. Which one's which? They're smart guys, learn from them. They talk about some of the mistakes that they've made. They also talk about how much money they've invested. If you read that book, it's super quick and it's full of awesome content. Highly suggest that one. And this is kind of like a non-traditional suggestion. You're gonna hear about Ignite the Fire, John Goodman, Changing the Game or Change Makers from Berardi. There's a lot of I call it like the gentleman's club. You come into fitness and these folks just, you gotta go right here. I'm getting you to think a little bigger. Try some different stuff out. And I think I highly recommend this book by Chris and Eric Martinez, Rise of the Fit Pro. You gotta get an anatomy book in you. The average trainer quits within the first year of becoming certified. Yes, we're talking 80, 90%. Now why is that? They lack the foundation. It's super easy to get into the fitness industry. Come on, really, you studied a textbook and now you're, you're qualified? Don't think so. You may be certified, but most trainers have no idea what the hell to do. So focus on the anatomy, because anatomy is gonna build your confidence. Can you tell me what muscles flex the humerus? What action is that called? Horizontal abduction. Did you know the agonist for that is your posterior deltoid? What about flexion? When a client talks about tightness of the hip, what is it? Is it the rectus femoris? Is it the psoas? Maybe it's the core. Maybe it's the transverse abdominis. Which one is it? Learn your anatomy and it's gonna build your confidence. I suggest our anatomy textbook. It's gonna be coming out here maybe in a month or two. It used to be the Segan Adams. I like this one. But they discontinued it. So, you gotta think bigger, create your own, and that's what we're doing. Dream big, never quit, Mark Megna. Super motivating individual, played in the NFL. Now he has gyms in Miami and Florida. I love his stuff, he's a complete stud. Looks the part, talks the part, very motivating. Atomic Habits by James Clear. You're gonna see the list is unique. It's not just fitness, it's things that you need to find to be consistent. Atomic Habits is great. Now my suggestion when it comes to reading, everyone should be reading more. It'd be really interesting to look at those trainers who quit, who got certified after a year to see how much they're reading. How much are they set in PRs? How much are you getting trained by other trainers? It's not very common. If you wanna be successful, you need to read more. Start out with 10 pages. Write how many you did, track it for a month. See how many pages you can read in a month. If you have a book that you, you start reading crooked, for example. You know what, Chris, it's too big. Well, that's okay. 30 pages in, put it aside, go into another one. Find something that grabs your attention. You want that page turner. Number six, a coach's guide to optimizing movement, Pat Davidson. This is another complete stud in the game. He's out of New York, hype. One of our interns in West Hollywood is going over there for the internship. It's a great book challenging the, the patterns of movement. So outside of your squat, your knee dominant, um, unilateral, your hinge, push, pull, he gets into some of the non-traditional ones like breathing, transitional. His rethinking the big patterns, it's a great book. Five, Think and Grow Rich. A lot of folks suggest Napoleon Hill's uh, How to Win, and actually Dale Carnegie, How to Influence People, Win Friends, something along those lines. I like Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich because he talks about that mindset, positive freaking mindset. And if you implement that in your everyday strategies, you're gonna be so much more successful because the average person's super negative. What about when you have eight clients who come in and they're super negative? They smell, they talk shit about politics. But they, oh God, you wanna blow your head off, but you can't, don't do it. Think and Grow Rich is gonna help you focus on being positive. Can't hurt me, maybe a little taboo for some of you. David Goggins, he's, he's an energy guy, too much going on, he's too much for me. This, this dude is freaking tough. 
And if we thought and implemented more action like he did, whoo, we wouldn't be a fat ass nation like we are today. Mindset, as Hill says, he's just not as crazy as David. Dagan, uh, David has gone through see, uh, the bud stuff, not bud stuff, but the SEAL training camp three different times. Just crazy mindset. I love this stuff. Now, he's not as you know, unique as like the, the Gary V's and maybe the Grant Cardones. I would suggest starting with this one. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. 30 pages, move on to the next one. Glute Lab by Dr. Brett Contreras. He was here in San Diego. Now he's over in Las Vegas. When it comes to learning about the glutes, there's no one else that you should learn from. Certification from ISSA, come on, get out of here. Glute Lab, at less than 100 bucks. You don't need a certification on how to train the glutes. You need results, you need transformations. One of the best books out there. Conscious Coaching, really great book from Brett Bartholomew. I interviewed him for my book and Brett is a stud. He's gonna help you learn to communicate better. And number one, you're ready for it, how to become a successful PT, personal trainer by yours truly. It's going to be out here maybe in a week, early 2021. I interview most of these people on the board. We talk about why the average trainer quits. In a survey that I've done overseeing well over 5,000 trainers, 90% of certified trainers quit within the first year. Not when you show up though. When you get the ability to interact with people that have been doing this for a long time and you get them to supervise your sessions. You get them to help you with your programming. You constantly focus on anatomy. And more importantly, you need the hands-on experience. Our weekend seminars, if you can't come out for our two-month internship, are gonna change the game. You need to know how to communicate with a client and how to fix this. You're not gonna fold over for 30 seconds and, and stretch and do all this dash and bullshit, no. You cue properly. When you understand movement, you don't need all these tricks. Let's go get a Theragun. There you go, I'll fix you. Understand movement and you're gonna be a great, successful personal trainer. So here's my top 10 books for 2021. Read them, comment below, let us know what your top 10 books are. If you have any questions, you wanna become a great trainer, even if you're certified, our online internship will help you, our in-person will help you. Wherever you are in the world, you gotta show up. And remember, listen to people who have big biceps, come on. What's up with all these little guys bouncing on BOSU balls? No, show up.